today we're going to be making an alien hovercraft. How do you think it works? All right, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. You'll need some scissors, a skewer, a pencil, some tape, some straws, some balloons, some elastic bands, some scrap cardboard, a block of styrofoam, some colored paper, and some pens. First, we're going to take our straw and slide it into the end of our balloon. Next, I'm going to lift it up and use this elastic band to tie the end of the balloon tightly around the straw so it stays in place and no air can escape. Taking our styrofoam, I'm now going to cut the straw down to size. Mischievous aliens. We've got to do something. Don't worry, Ruby. We know it wasn't you. Now I'm going to take this piece of paper and using something round like this tape, I'm going to draw a perfect circle. Make sure you're as accurate with your cutting as possible. Get an adult to help you if you're having trouble. Now I'm going to fold it in half and then in half again into quarters and cut the corner off. Now when I unfold it, we've got a square hole in the middle. Using this as a guide, we're going to cut a circle of cardboard out and use the mark in the middle to mark out the center. Now putting some plasticine underneath it, I'm going to use my skewer and poke a hole right through the middle where we marked out and use a pencil to make it just a bit bigger. Perfect. Just going to take this away and put this to the side. Now we can take our styrofoam, mark roughly in the center of it, and use our skewer to punch a hole right through the middle. And again, using the pencil to make it a bit bigger. Ooh, looks like they're making a ship of their own. Careful, guys. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Oh wow, look at that! Oh, I hope they're okay. The disc must have come to such a sudden stop because of the friction from the table. Now we can take our straw and thread it through our styrofoam. And once more through the bottom of our card. Now that all of these pieces have assembled, we can tape them all together like this. Now we just blew up our balloon, pinch the end until we're ready to release it, and let it go. See, Graham? They do exist. Once the air is released, we can watch it glide across the table. Have you figured out how it works yet? Oh, look, there they go. See you later, guys. Have a safe trip. Right, time to decorate. I'm just going to remove this for now to make it easier. First, I'm going to draw around the top bit of my UFO and then flip it over and draw around the bottom so that when we cut it all out, it can slot into place no problem.
Next, I'm going to cut the square of blue and mark out the center of it with this rectangle. Now we can cut the corners out just like this to make tabs. I'll now just fold them up and secure them with some tape. If you're having trouble following along with me, ask a grown-up to help you. Now we can slot it all together. Oh, these are a bit long, but I'm just going to fold them down. There we go. Time for some more tape and some last bits of decoration. Perfect. Oh, can't forget the balloon. Remember to put a hole through the top of your paper so the straw can slide in. Now we can test it out. Our hovercraft can't move very far on its own because of a force called friction. The bottom of the craft rubs against the table, which builds up friction and slows it down. However, when the air is released from the balloon, the hovercraft is lifted slightly, reducing the friction and allowing it to move more freely. This is how a hovercraft moves on water. Brilliant! Now we've got our very own alien hovercraft. Good job, everyone. Another successful experiment. Did you learn something new today?